Dear Diary, Happy Valentine's Day, 14th February 2018. <coughs> right, final word on AJ Miller. AJ Miller massively changed his tune. Now, I don't know if anyone actually noticed. But what got me originally with AJ Miller's videos is when he said about God being an entity. Because this is something I had discarded for a good many years. I thought, we're all God, you know. And him saying God is an entity, like a being, like, you know, really struck a chord. And it was that that enabled me to make that connection to Mother and Father God. Jesus, our Mother and Father God's name. Hallowed name. And... So, that was, that was a big thing. So when he then starts saying, God is infinite, still talking about the same mother and father God, that's a massive gulf there between something being an entity, an entity in itself sort of surmises that there is a, barrier where this entity is and where this entity isn't. So not infinite. So, you know, he, so he, there is his contradiction and this is the, the whole thing about what I've been saying about the eternal tree of life and different nodes on this tree being entities like our mother and father God is, and like we are. So... So that's that. If you want me to draw your picture, just use your mind. Imagine a tree. You see the bit on top. And the tree again, underneath the soil is sometimes can be almost like an exact replica of what's on top of the ground and what's below the ground. And that is the complete tree. And you could probably switch this analogy around, but I see the male as being on top and the female being underneath. So go right to the end of the branch branch, one of the branches, and there we are, all, you know, a hundred billion coming off God, okay, it's hard to imagine a hundred billion little new branches coming off one branch, okay, so, but, imagine it how you like, but, so we are these new little buds, males, and the females are the new little root things, right? So you and your soulmate are not necessarily one, but now the toroidal thing comes in. So when you when you've got you've got a connection with your soulmate, so there is just one for you, twin flame that seems to be called now. You and your twin flame, you make a connection, and that's like this toroidal energy connection of the tree. And go back one node to our mother and father God, so our father God will be above, mother below. And they've got a permanent um, connection, and I mean, and the whole tree itself, all, all of these are. And we're like the new buds, so we're just learning and, you know, we're just coming alive, if you like, and we'll, you know, make that connection ourselves, you know, because when you feel that connection, it's just really awesome. But you will remain a separate entity, you will remain the male or the female. But you will be making this connection. It's, it's one of these things I think I'm going to make one of the short picture videos for 
perhaps at some point. Um, those bit random sort of things, but um, things are beginning to make a lot more sense for me. Um, just today, in fact, I was feeling about my purpose and um, what it was for me to do, which was to to get the truth and to find the truth and to take take it on, and that really has been my purpose. And obstacles that have stood in the way and things that have helped or maybe, you know, tried to hinder but ended up helping or whatever, or the opposite way around and, you know, it's, um, it's sort of making more sense and that's all I had to do. And if that had some impact on one or more people in some way, in some way towards God's plan, then, um, then, great, right, uh, or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if you have a look back at the videos that I've done over the past say six months it's been there's been quite a lot of stuff coming out for me I mean I tend to only make videos when something has occurred some new bit of information you know that I've got from with it or events that are happening that whatever but um, yeah you know quite a lot of stuff over the last six months um, so I recommend, you know, there's one called Six Billion Years and Before We Were Born. I mean, it's really helpful to know some of this stuff and the mood swing stuff and the, well, you know, all of it, in my opinion, right? And we're all on different paths and learning different bits of information and different parts of our path and whatever. Uh, <clears throat> But I can only just recommend, kind of, and you'll do what your free will will allow you to do. But they're useful in the everyday, for some reason, you know. I don't know, like, um, today I was driving, driving to another, to the village just outside Banbury. And I was just thinking how the world, how... Yeah, the world was covered with water and um, proof that, you know, southern England, Dover and that's made of chalk and this is all a uh, coral reef that's lived and died. So it was on the shores. So I was thinking, okay, so where we are, where I live, Banbury, we've got clay you know, and so this was probably above the water at some point when that chalk was under the water, you know, as the la as the, the land rose, as the earth expanded and the sea levels therefore receded. Um, but we were being animals. We were experienced, you know, we know this land and I've felt that and we have all that experience to draw upon. You know, it's why people like stories with animals and stuff like that is because because that's if you just feel that you've done those things before. You gathered the nuts, you've hunted in packs, you've swam in shoals of fish. You know, you had and you would have been feeling, so it's not like your only experience would have been you blub 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 going through the water. Your soul would have been in that fish and somebody else's soul would have been in the fish next to you. So we, it's like we've met 
we probably met everybody once, even. In all that time, or at least us here on this planet, if there's six other planets within our universe. And it, it really is, um, it really is helpful to know. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I've got anything else to say right now. Oh, with the moon mood swings, um, you know, if you want to, I mean, I recommend you do try and figure out like your daily, your monthly, and your yearly where you are in that because then you know what's coming up and for example you know if you're a, well what I'll tell you where we are at the moment we're about a week into the moon going up for females and down for males so males will be going down for another three weeks on our moon thing and on the year um, we're coming up to near to the crossing point, which will be in on the spring equinox. So men, we've got another six months to keep coming up, and women, another six months, well, sorry, seven months um, going down. And on the day since midday today, um, men going up and women going down. And then that will switch tomorrow midday and men will then be going down and women going up on the day one so at the beginning of the month because sometimes you know things are happening and I'm actually not even sure am I coming up today or down today I can't remember you know and it's sort of difficult to sense it especially recently when I've uh, been coming up on the year and the moon it it, it kind of is hard to sort of think uh, you know, am I on the down day or the up day because I'm feeling okay or whatever. But, eventually I get it, yeah, I'm definitely going down today. Because just, you know, things, you, I'm getting more and more sensitive to it. But so, so on an even day in this month, an even day, so at the beginning of the month, think, right, am I odd or even? Am I coming up on my even days or my odd days? So I think of the day that, where you hit your bottom at midday and start coming up. I think of that as a coming up day. Because even as you're going to sleep at night, the night before, you think, yeah, by the time I wake up, just be a few more hours and I'll be coming up again. And so so I think to myself then, right, even day is coming up, so that sort of helps it to remember. And it will be for the next month too, because February has 28 days. So the same pattern will follow into the next month. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I've had no one make any comments about the moon moods thing. And it's another thing I'm planning to do one of my picture videos on. So perhaps I'll do that. Because it is it's kind of funny to explain. I haven't had any feedback, so I don't know. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I heard um it's funny, uh I just watched this video about Terence McKenna. Uh he's dead now. Died in two thousand. Uh born in seventy six, uh, forty six, nineteen forty six. And he was big into the acid and mushrooms and stuff. Uh, great guy. Um, listening to watch this film about his life. Very, very interesting. And he had this thing where he discovered this sort of... He drew... Or something, I can't remember how the squiggly lines came about. But then he sort of put one down and then enlarged one by six. And then pasted it over it and then did that again. 
and he ended up with this curve that he felt was the answer to time or something and he could plot it he could plot it into history and show where the ups and downs of history were occurring but it's just interesting the way he overlaid three things so it's like so that's the same with my feeling about our general moods that we cannot change it's there it will be affected by other things in our life like when we've got some hard work to do ahead of us that's always going to bring us down once we've finished the hard work that you know then we're feeling good you know so these things affect your mood what you've coming up in your life blah 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 but underneath all that is something we're just on a wave we can't help it and it's this it's a triple wave so there's a day month and year and it's it's just it's just there it's just part of it i mean maybe i'm thinking you know maybe that's something because is it on, it's either something on the soul level or it's something we have to contend with in the physical realm now if it's on the soul level it may be that you know the the length of time it takes the earth to spin and the moon and the earth spin around the sun is a, no coincidence it's set like that because it 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 um, shows the natural mood swing of the soul and then therefore probably all the planets that have life on them would be the same but now I just thought of that I thought it's actually probably not and it's probably something that we have in this and it probably does carry on to the spirit world because the spirit world is made sort of on the earth or something dividing the waters or whatever so <laughs> you know it's it's perhaps something that God God may have done differently on other planets on purpose and therefore they may have different mood swings they may have much longer drawn out ones you know, 10 years maybe and 10 years and 10 months and 10 days and maybe their days are longer I don't know I don't know just thinking right obviously I haven't got that much to say um, pain stuff yeah so definitely what is working and what definitely works is say I get pain it is a resistance of a deeper feeling and what I've been noticing is that if I've got feet pain and then I feel that what will follow is pressing into my back now only just yesterday I started thinking am I just resisting love from God oh, I feel like I should draw a picture I'm going to draw it in my hands <laughs> right so here's your back okay I'll draw it slow <laughs> sitting over like that. here's your back straight now here's your heart say heart of your soul in the middle and I was saying about the cords that connect there for the uh, soul to the spirit body to the physical body now I'm feeling this pressure coming in from this way and from this way now I said I haven't I don't usually feel stuff behind me but what I'm starting to feel that like is God has got our backs there I remember my last video I said I know which way we're facing on the eternal tree of life we're facing out so that would make sense that God is there behind us now I'm still feeling mother's love directly underneath coming into my soul there and directly from father there. So some sort of like toroidal thing going on with God there. So but when I was feeling this pressure coming into my back and I was trying to, well I wasn't trying because you shouldn't try but so I was trying to allow the feeling to go and um, it wasn't really until I felt like almost this is this is like love from God or something from God in the sense that it that it progressed you know that it and 
the feeling I got when I did that was like a felt like then my soul was like all around me like this in a sense and it was just doing something to the edge to the edges I say I ha I do feel like I've said this I felt like I've been going through some sort of transformation there've been things like adding in a sense feels like adding to my soul in these states and what's great is you don't have to try and remember it, you don't think, oh I have to write that down because you know when you get back anywhere near towards that state that you're in, all that you've felt before and remembered before will be there, you know, it won't be hard to remember and stuff. So yeah, it looks like a lot of good things happening, I mean, I guess, you know, it probably is a place I go but I'm just seeing a lot more positivity on the internet, um, good to see some a lot of women coming forward and and making videos, live videos, and these are strong, good women, and that's that's what we want. You know, we want, don't want our women to be subjugated or oppressed, as the Bible. You know, women who are like well into the Bible and Bible scriptures. You know, do just get this feeling that they are allowing themselves to be subjugated and uh, you know shouldn't be like that yeah yeah so separating the wheat and the chaff like I said is scripture it's not more than scripture it's truth and that has been my purpose and I certainly reached some levels and I've had to feel the truth of things you know, what is and everything else. It's been... There have been some daunting moments. Hence, um, nothing I would ever lie about or say lightly. You know, I've been speaking my truth. I've been on this journey following my heart. And what I'm saying, it's all good, yeah? It's, um... It's really good. <laughs> so I think with that, with that, I shall. I might do another singing video when my voice recovers. <laughs> uh, I've got Crowded House to do. But if you listen to the album, I'm really disappointed with the recording of the album. Compared to what those songs, I mean, I think when I've played the songs in the past, I don't want to promise anything for the future, when I've played those songs in the past, to me, in my head, they sounded so much better than when I put their CD in. And uh, I really thought, I thought I had definitely maybe Oasis guitar book. I really want to play those songs. I think I might download and print off those because they're, they're better than Morning Glory. Morning Glory is pretty good, but definitely maybe. And listening back to it now is awesome. So positive. We're gonna live forever. <laughs> We're gonna live forever. And it's true, we are. So get over it, baby. Give it a big kiss and a hug. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Bye.